Welcome back to another video. My name is Miss Inel Rodney and this is my colleague, Miss Alana Morrison. We are the Grade 5 World Teachers. Our subject for today is science and the topic is plants. Yeah, 
flowers are putting at one side of the table. The next part we will be removing is the leaf. So let us remove the leaves. Everyone show me the leaf. Touch the leaf. Tell me how it feels. Now everyone remove their leaves. Very good. Now since we remove all the leaves, what is left? What is left on the plant? Anyone can tell me what else is on the plant? Great, excellent. Now, Tom is asking us, what is this little part here on this plant? Can everybody see on my plant here? You want to know what you call this little part here? Now, this part of the plant is called a... Who can tell me? Who would like to make a try? Anybody? Okay, then I will tell you. This part here of the plant is called the bud. You see everyone? The bud. Here is the bud of the plant. So now we remove the flowers. We remove the buds and the leaves. But if you look carefully at Sarah's plant, there is a little fruit growing there. So we will let Sarah remove her fruit because the fruit is also another part of the plant. Thank you very much, Sarah, for removing your fruit. Now show the class. Great. So you see Sarah's fruit there? Now that fruit is not ripe as yet. It's now growing beer, right? So now we will be focusing on the stem. So this is the stem here, everyone. The long part, we have some growing outwards, we have some growing curve. If you can see, it's growing like with a bend. So that is what you call the stem. So everyone try to remove the stem. If you have to break off a little piece and put it aside, right? So take off a piece of stem from your plant. Good. So you see I have my stem here, right? Good. So at the bottom of the stem, we can find a very good mark, the root, right? So break off your root and put it aside on your desk. Very good. So now I want everyone to look at each part that you remove from that plant, right? And I'll give you five seconds to think about what is our topic for today. Your time is up now. So can anyone tell me what is the topic for this afternoon? Great answer. Plants. That's a good try. Anybody else? Come on, Ruth. Give us a try. What do you think? Types of plants? Great try. Very good. Now, what is it you're saying there, Sarah? Stand. Stand and tell the class what you're saying there. Everybody hear that? Now, Sarah is saying that since we removed the parts of, of the plant, she thinks that today's topic based on parts of a plant. Now, you're all correct. We, today's topic is based on plants, but we're mainly focusing on the different parts of the plant. Okay? So what I want you to do is to pick up your plants and put them at the side of this table here and go back to your seats quietly. Yes. So can anyone tell me what is a plant? Do you know that plants grow on land, even in water, and on other plants? They also grow on rocks and even logs. Plants grow in hot places. Example in our school compound here, it's hot. So we pick some plants that grow in hot places and even in cold places. Now, they also grow in dry places, like example in the sun. So if you look around here, you have examples of plants that grow in hot and dry places places also in moist places moist places are muddy plants don't have one color 
plants are not the same. Plants are nature's factories producing food. So plants are important because they produce food. They produce food for us. That's where we get our food from. So now human life cannot exist without plants, nor can any other animal. So it's important for us to take good care of our plants. You know that there are two types of plants? Yes, they are. We have the flowering plant and the non-flowering plant. The plants which bear flowers are called flowering plants. And some examples are grasses, palm trees, and also olives. So if you look around, we can see some flowering plants over there. And also we picked some flowering plants just now, right? Plants that do not bear flowers, they are called non-flowering plants. So when you see a plant with no, no flowers on it, no buds, no fruit, they are called non-flowering plants. And the example of those are mosses and fur. Today we will be only focusing on flowering plants, the ones that bear fruits, flower, and buds can also be found on them. So we will go over to this side here where we have this flowering plant to examine. So come on, let's go. is known as the shoot system. Now the root system is found below the ground and that is the root. So the root system is just the root. The root is found below the ground. So here, this part here is called the root system. So the shoot system, fruit, stem, leaves, flower, also bud. And the root system is only root. Now each part of the plant has its own function. Let's talk about the bud. The bud is the part of the plant that moves into the flower. The flower now that makes seeds to continue the life cycle of the plant. That seed turns into the fruit and the fruit can be eaten as food while some cannot go. So the fruit is the sweet and fleshy product of that plant. Let me see all those loves fruits. Great, I love fruits, especially bananas and apples and mangoes, cherries and so on. Good. Now let's move over to the leaf. 
Now clean, absorb sunlight and carbon dioxide. So the leaves inhale carbon dioxide and exhale oxygen. While you want let ourselves inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide. So we connect. We cannot live without each other. That is why plants are important. The stem. The stem anchors the plant and carries water, minerals, and food throughout the plant. So the stem is also a main part of the plant. Lastly, the roots. The roots absorb water from the soil. So when you see your plants dry or it looks like it's dying, you can pour some water. Water your plant. Good. So, did you learn anything new so far about the plant class? Yes, Ryan, what did you learn? Good. Ryan learned that the shoot system can be found above the ground and the root system can be found below. That is a good one. Right? So, anybody else? All right, well, I guess everybody know everything so far then. All right. Well, we have a fun activity for you to do. So, we will be doing a little puzzle. So, we will be placing you into some groups. Let's say groups of six. And we will fix up a puzzle. So, let's get into the activity, into this activity now. So, I, I know you're wondering, what is all this card? Well, I don't know myself because you have to fix it up. But I know for sure that it's a puzzle, right? So, what is this part? I don't know. What is this part? I don't know. So, so this banana distributes the puzzle, one part of the puzzle to each group, right? So, when I call on group one, you will come and pin your part onto the puzzle I have here. So, let's get into so, John, let's go. Very good, John. This part of the puzzle fits directly here. And this is called a stem. So, let's move on to group two. You two come up with the part that was given to you and fit it in correctly. Very good, group two. So, group two plays there. Leave correctly. Here they place the name on the part that they have and they place it on the puzzle correctly. So let's move on. Are you enjoying the activity so far? Very good. So group three, let's go, let's go. Come up quickly and let's pin this puzzle up. Lovely group three. Group three plays the root right here. This was very simple, right? So we have the root here and also the name. So we're almost finished with this puzzle. So let's move on to group four. So group four, come on up. Let's finish up this puzzle. Excellent, group four. So this part was a bit tricky because it resembled this part of the leaf, right? But nevertheless, you figure it out. And this part here is the bud. So great job, group four. So the next part is a giveaway. But still come up group five and pin your puzzle. Your, your Three. Great job, group five. So, group five plays their flowers correctly. It took a little while, but they got through. So, group six, you will come up and place your part anywhere you want to place it. Because you're supposed to know already that your part is the good. So, you will come up and you will place it anywhere you want to place it, right? So come up now and place your food onto your plant. Three. Excellent work, group six. So did you notice that they did not place the food by the root? Can anyone tell me why they did not do so? Very good, Mary, because the food cannot be found below the ground, which is the root system. It usually be 
fall between the leaves or by the stem where the fruit usually grow. So let's give ourselves a round of applause for completing this puzzle. So everyone give yourself a clap. Very good. Wait, wait, wait. So remain in your group. We have a next group activity for you. So yeah, I'll talk we finish with this activity. We have a time attack game for you. So each group will come out. They will place their hands in this basket here. And they'll have to take out one of these paper. And on the paper have the different functions, right? So for example, if we are looking at the part, the board, you will have to tell us it as quick as possible. If you can't do so, get knock out. So remember, we have to move fast. You have to tell me the function of whichever part of the plant you have on this piece of paper. So let's go. Good. So we will start with group one. So Thomas. Come out in front of here. Now you will place your hand here and you will take out one piece of paper. Do not look inside of this basket. Just take one piece of paper. So let's go. As soon as you take out your piece of paper and you read it, your countdown will start. So take out one. Good. So Thomas paper states function of the fruit. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Very Excellent. good. He Very good. the function of the food correctly within the specific time given. Next group, group two. Come up quickly, quickly, quickly. Place your hands in the basket and take out one. So Jock has function of the stem. So we're giving you five seconds to say the function of the stem. So your time starts now. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, he did not finish in time, but that's okay. Give him a round of applause because he did great, but he did not finish the function in time. Good, good. Man, so good job, all of you. You've done well. I'm proud and I'm happy that you all understand the function of each part of the plant. Now, our last activity is an individual activity, meaning you have to do it by yourself on your own. Nobody's not helping you. You've done group activity before, so now let's see what you can do by yourself. For this activity here, you want to see how creative are so in this bag here i have some recycled materials so i will distribute myself and miss yanella will distribute these materials to you and you will create a plant of your choice using these materials you have to make use of all the materials good grade five your time is up now so i'll need a sample from three persons to display what they created so, Miss Alana, just collect any three samples. Good. So, here I have Sarah's plant. Lovely. Very creative. Very creative. Can everyone see the plant? Here I have Thomas and Mark. So, they use all the materials here to create all the parts of the plant. If you look carefully, you can see the different colors of flowers here. You can see the leaves. You can see the stem and even the roots. Also here, the bud and the fruits. Good. Lovely. Very creative. So I will, you can exchange and go around the classroom and show your friends what you made, right? Okay, class. So since you finished all the activities, I have the handout here on everything you've done today based on plants. So I will distribute these handouts to you. And you will staple them in your books. Now, Miss Nell is coming around with a staple to staple them in your books. So, for homework, what I want everyone to do is when you go home, you can either draw or paste any three pictures of your choice of a flower.
flowering plant, right? The okay plants. So, to conclude this lesson, we will dance and sing a song. So, I want all of you to stand and form a circle. Everybody, quickly, form a circle. Now, together we will sing this song. If you know the song, you will sing along with myself and Miss Yanello. For those of you who do not know the song, you will listen carefully. So when you go home, you can sing the song also. So who's ready to dance and sing? Good. And also you will go around in a circle as we sing, right? So it's like a little merry-go-round. So we will start this song in a count of three. So three, two, one. There was a plant, there was a plant, a pretty plant, a pretty plant, a very big plant, a very big plant that you ever did see, that you ever did see. And in the soil, and a stem, on a root, and a leaf, on a stem, and a flower, on a leaf, and a bud, on a flower, and a 